It is, I think, first of all, good to recall that 80% of the forest loss is to agriculture. So eco-agriculture is ecosystem-friendly agriculture that delivers, therefore, not only agricultural output, but also conserve biodiversity in this, at the same time. While integrated landscape management is a collaborative work at landscape level to bring all stakeholders, depending on that landscape, to work together to deliver all those objectives, being food, further energy, water, at the same time. So you can see, therefore, that if we want forestry and agriculture to go hand in hand and deliver at the same time not only forest conservation but also deliver food security and nutrition, we must work at the landscape level. And therefore, what are the challenges that we need to face? Number one, if you, we, we need to work at the policy level to bring the policies to be conducive and rewarding for those working at the landscape level. We must therefore make sure that governance systems are rewarding precisely all those multi-purpose outcome coming at the landscape level. And another point is we must make sure that we check and phase out the negative uh, incentives that are, may I say, rewarding degradation and replace them by incentives that are pro-conservation and pro-restoration. So at the end of the day, we, we need by 2030 uh, to make sure that we restore more landscape than we encroach on existing forest. That's the only way that we can hopefully manage to preserve our forest and match uh, the demand for food and for fodder and for water and for energy. And it's also the most cost effective way as IPBES findings have said to address our climate conundrum in adaptation and mitigation.